So with our parts all ready, uh, we can begin. Now just uh, to let you know what I'm doing, I am uh, following actually my own uh, guide. Uh, this is the guide from the 800 megahertz neck, however, it is exactly the same as the uh, 1 slash uh, 1.25 gigahertz neck, um, with the exception that some colors are different, but uh, in, in technique, it's identical. Uh, so I'm going to be following this along, um, going down exactly what I have written. Some things that I also have ready for reference in terms of just photos, um, I have the pinout. This right now, it will, it will be placed uh, on, uh, on this page for the 17-inch uh, uh, um, guide. However, right now it could also be found on my post called uh, yeah, My Two Necks or the 17-inch uh, Two Necks. So here's the uh, pinout uh, from the uh, iMac uh, TMDS cable and uh, its corresponding DVI numbers. Again, make sure that this is the 1 slash 1.25. Uh, the differences are essentially you'll see a brown as opposed to orange cable and make sure it's not the 20 inch in that it has um, connected to VCC of 3.3 volts or 5 volts and not uh, 12 volts because that would be the uh, 20 inch. Uh, the next thing to have ready is uh, showing exactly where on our connector um, the numbers are with uh, the DVI numbers just listed so you don't have to keep counting them out or making sure you can just keep going to this picture in order to compare exactly where you're pressing into. So again, this is also just found at the top of this blog. I would copy this picture and just have it ready for reference. And uh, then third is the uh, inverter pinout, similar to the actual LCD pinout. Just have it ready uh, so that you can um, uh, consult with uh, if there's anything uh, you know unclear with the blog in order to verify that everything is uh, hooked up appropriately at the end as well. So uh, those are things I have ready. Now I'm going to go back to my guide and we went through the parts list and I'll show you exactly what we're going to be doing next. So again, yours might be hooked up to the, uh, to the actual motherboard at this time. However, you want to unhook that from the motherboard if that's the case. You'll pull out this plug. This is the LCD plug. Okay. Uh, other things that are also going to be found uh, coming through, the speaker and the uh, uh, microphone, as well as the LCD from on top. And then you'll notice that there is one of these that is labeled inverter cable also going in here. Again, we will need both the inverter cable and we will also need all the LCD. So we'll have to free both of these. So. Uh, to start off, I'm actually going to just uh, kind of demonstrate the technique. I'll start with the uh, freeing the inverter cable. Um, the things I recommend are uh, safety pins. And I have a, a few different sizes here. And either a small, flat uh, screwdriver or an X-Acto knife. So really all of them will do, but... Um, it's your choice really, but the safety pins are uh, required. So I'm going to take my, uh, my middle size one right here and I'm going to take the inverter cable and you can see all the wires here. I'm going to kind of make sure I don't get these, they're just not necessary and I can spare them for later. And you should be able to see right now that there are actually uh, little tabs. And what you want to do is you want to just press up these tabs. So I push it right in here and I lift up these tabs. Now you can, if you bend these too far back, they'll break. However, we're okay with that. Uh, we're not going to be hooking this back up. And so we just then press it out after the tabs kind of just push back a little bit and our wire is free. As little force as necessary. Um, this is good practice also just for the pins in the LCD, which we have to be even more careful with. So just push it back and then push it down. And then that one's free. So we have one more on this side. Now we're all free there. I'm going to flip it over. It's back. And I'm just going to push it down. And sometimes, just to make sure you don't put too much torque on them, I'm actually going to free just a couple of them all at the same time. That way I can kind of pull them all out simultaneously. And again, you want to make sure you don't use too much force and break the pins off. I'm 
And once you get them down past the tab, it should be pretty easy to free them. And just one more. The green one looks like it's not quite free yet. Good. And there you go. So I'm going to take the what's left of this cable and just push it to the side. And here we have the inverter cable with all the pins intact. So we have green, blue, black, purple, orange, and red.